I've entitled this piece, Saul of Tarsus. I started writing it in February of this year and got it finished by mid-March this year. It's a ballad, but uh, I'm just going to say it as a ballad instead of singing it because it's a little long for me in my voice. There is a refrain, which I'll be repeating between the verses. Saul of Tarsus. They called him Saul of Tarsus, and a posse with him rides. His documents and letters from the chief priests and scribes. Permission to take you captive. So listen to what I say. Oh, Saul's out after the people in the way. Yes, Saul's out after the people walking in the way. Now, Saul had stood there watching. He was watching Stephen die. When the last stone was hurled, did he hear that young man's cry? Lord, do not hold the sin against them. Is this final sigh? Was it a prayer for Saul of Tarsus watching Stephen die? They called him Saul of Tarsus, and a posse with him rides. He's documents and letters from the chief priests and scribes. Permission to take you captive, so to listen to what I say. Oh, Saul's out after the people in the way. Yes, Saul's out after the people walking in the way. With a zealous heart of hatred and evil burning in his eyes, Saul set out for Damascus, his posse riding at his side. On a mission to quell this rebel group, Jehovah's glory was the prize. Is it his religious duty, or was it for Saul's pride? They called him Saul of Tarsus, and a posse with him rides. He's documents and letters from the chief priests and scribes. Permission to take you captive. So to listen to what I say, oh, Saul's out after the people in the way. Yes, Saul's out after the people walking in the way. Did Saul remember that old saying written a long, long time ago? For in your heart you plan your life, but the Lord decides where you go. Hey, Saul, oh, Saul, whom do you think that you pursue? He saw, oh Saul, now it's Jesus after you. They called him Saul of Tarsus, and a posse with him rides. He's documents and letters from the chief priest and scribes. Permission to take you captive, so to listen to what I say. Oh, Saul's out after the people in the way. Yes, Saul's out after the people walking in the way. Southwest of Damascus, our day of two to the journey's end. Saul gets off his ride because he stopped midday to pray. He's a Pharisee of Pharisees, praying God's blessings to descend. A light from heaven flashed around him, and on the ground Saul lay. They called him Saul of Tarsus, and a posse with him rides. He's documents and letters from the chief priests and scribes. Permission to take you captive, so to listen to what I say. Oh, Saul's out after the people in the way. Yes, Saul's out after the people walking in the way. The dazed Saul lay there prostrate on the ground. He heard a voice calling him. Others just hear the thunder sound. But it was Jesus speaking, and Saul obeyed the master's call. A blinded man was led to town, a three-day fast in darkness awaited Saul. They called him Saul of Tarsus, and a posse with him rides. His documents and letters from the chief priests and scribes, permission to take you captive. So listen to what I say. Oh, Saul's out after the people in the way. Yes, Saul's out after the people.
the people walking in the way. Epilogue. Saul, you are the last man to see and hear the risen Lord. Saul, you found that God's love is a love that conquers all. Saul, you'll be preaching the good news of forgiveness and everlasting life. The way will soon be known as Christians, and you'll be known as Paul. Now, Paul would go on preaching, and later on he would say, I only know that in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task that Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. This is based on basically Acts 20 verses 23 to 24. Thank you.